This year we wanted to turn our attention towards treating specialized problems, problems that required surgery. So we decided that we would treat obstetric fistula, which is a specialty problem, but also very, very common in the basin. <laughs> Anderson, Vincent, and Augustine are members of our local staff who are indispensable to the work that we do in the basin. And these guys do anything and everything for the clinic. Jump in. Jump in. I want to thank them for having faith in us and trusting us to try to help their problem. <laughs> when women are either very young, very physically small, without prenatal care and without birth assistance, during labor, a baby can get stuck and the baby almost invariably dies inside the mother during labor. And the pressure creates real serious internal injuries. The most common outcome of that kind of injury is that she's leaking urine and or feces uncontrollably. It's really devastating. In this particular case, we're transporting 30 Congolese women over to the Tanzanian side of the lake, where they are meeting Tanzanian women who have the same problem, and they will all get their obstetric fistulas repaired surgically. This is a problem. How are our patients gonna get on board? It's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be challenging. Every single person on this boat right now is ready to vomit. I'm a little bit happy. I'll express my happiness when I read the Good job. Thank you. Good job. There is a woman who's sick since 1982. She's among these women that are going to get treatment. I think it's not only a big deal for us as an organization, or Congo as a government that is getting its people treated, but also for these sick women. Many of these women have never been outside of their health area, much less to another country and be, you know, far from home for a while. It's not easy. 
We saw many, many complex fistula injuries. But I think that success is beyond just whether or not that operation worked. It's did we provide the appropriate psychosocial support for these patients? Did we do community education? Did they feel like we took good care of them? And I think that you know our patients felt good about their experience. And I think for this particular type of injury, that's very important. Fish are fly. This outreach is really beginning to demonstrate what I think the Lake Tanganyika Floating Health Clinic is capable of, which is international collaboration to provide the highest quality of care for all of the communities that live around Lake Tanganyika. Thank you.